In today's Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a specific technique to make a text effect poster as you can see on the screen right now, but also stay tuned for bonus tips throughout the entire tutorial video. But first, a quick word for who's making today's video possible for you guys to see. So another awesome resource for learning essential skills as a graphic designer is Skillshare. Now Skillshare is a community of creators that holds over 25,000 classes on design, business and other useful topics. And regarding graphic design, Skillshare boasts a wide selection of courses by professionals in their respective fields. You can learn more about Skillshare and how to get two months totally for free later in today's video. So let's make this uh, technique and this curved text effect poster design. And obviously we need some text to start off with so press command or control T for the character window and then choose your font. I personally would go with a sans serif and a really tall kind of font and I'm going for Antonio and bold. Also with a low tracking. You're going to need to create the outlines of the text so we can actually work with it and manipulate it into the way that we want to for our poster design which you're going to see later using a specific technique. So as you can see, I've now outlined my text and if I press A on my keyboard, I access a direct selection tool which allows me to actually select specific anchor points around my vector shape. Now the style that you go for and the approach that you, you know, you want for your text is up to you, but I'm going to select about this kind of area and then just hold down shift and click and drag downwards to extend the typography. Now as you can see, the B on my bold doesn't look very good at all. And we want to achieve a very nice and neat end result. So I'm going to show you how to, you know, resolve an issue like this. Firstly, you can multi-select anchor points by holding down shift and then moving them around. And if you don't hold down shift, they won't stay in alignment. Also, you can click a single anchor point and you can change the uh, handle, which will obviously change the curvature of the line and thus the shape of the actual letter itself. I'm gonna make this be quite a lot fatter and then I'm gonna take a guide from the left, which you can press Command or Control R to open up the rulers if you don't have them. I'm gonna set up a guide so I can actually use the pen tool by pressing P on my keyboard and drawing a vertical line directly along this guide. Ultimately creating a shape that's going to cut out that part of the section of the letter. You must remember to ungroup your lettering before you can perform the subtract option in the Pathfinder window. But once you've actually taken away any unwanted areas, you could head back into the lettering with the direct selection tool and make sure everything looks neat and orderly for your text poster design. Okay, so we've got our text and now we're gonna use the technique that actually is gonna allow us to warp the typography itself. You need to select all of your text and then you come up to Object, Envelope Distort, and then Make with Mesh. In the new window that appears, you can choose the amount of grids that you want to use. And I'm gonna use eight by eight for this actual design here, but you might want to experiment with things and you know, see what works for your design. So literally, all you do is you take the direct selection tool by pressing A, and then you select the row of points you want to edit, and then simply nudge them on your keyboard left or right. Now you can, you know, experiment with different styles and different like uh, lengths of uh, nudgements. And I've got some more tips to show you actually in this tutorial, so stay locked in here at Tutorial Graphics. So 
So here's my final poster design and I went for a grey background and I've added some typography with a, you know, left to right balance from diagonally speaking. But there's one tip that I want to share with you and that is if you press command or control K to bring up the preferences, you want to change the nudge settings which will allow you to move the points on your envelope mesh faster or slower depending on the size of your document. Also, you're going to want to expand your shape or your typography afterwards, which will allow you to change, you know, edit the actual style, the color and so forth. And if you ungroup everything, you can then edit individual letters. And I can make my poster look more interesting by say extending the L upwards, which I think looks pretty cool. So like I mentioned, today I'm offering you the chance of receiving two months access to Skillshare totally for free if you do use my link down in the description box below. Even without this offer of two free months, Skillshare only costs $10 per month which really does open the door to a wide range of useful lessons and courses, all delivered in a professional and a neat manner by successful people in their relative fields. So do be sure to check out Skillshare link down below and start learning some new skills and some new techniques today. So yeah, thanks for stopping by at Satori Graphics today. But yeah, of course, make sure you have a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace.